Hey everyone, a question I get asked a lot is how do we update our models in Substance Painter after we begin texturing it, right? So here I'm just using an example of some smart materials and there's all sorts of texturing happening here and you get to the point you're like, oh man, I need to, I want to update the model, right? In this case, I wanted to change the shape of the glove or you updated some UVs, but you don't want to start the whole process over again, right? So let's head back to our 3D software. In this case, it's going to be Maya. And you can see that I have a different looking glove here. It's the same overall glove. The shape has changed. The UVs have changed and everything. So now I want to bring that in substance without losing the progress that I've made. Well, here's the key thing. You just need to make sure that when you export, before you export, just make sure that the naming is the same. So the model that you had for this, which was gloves left underscore low is the same, same thing for the right side, and same thing for the high poly. So you can see if I go ahead and select the high poly, it's gloves left underscore high. Now, this is mainly for baking, but you just wanna make sure that that's all done before you export. Then you wanna make sure that you have the same material applied, assuming that you're using the same texture sets. So if the names in the outliner are the same, the material, for the texture set is the same, then you are ready to go and update your models in Substance. So just use the usual export. So file, export selection. And I'm gonna wanna go ahead and use FBX here. And you can see that I have a folder for Substance, exports, and I'm gonna call this guy character main low new underscore new and go ahead and export that. And I have my character high. So I'm gonna hit G to repeat last. So it opens up the window again. And this is just gonna be character main high underscore new. Go ahead and do that. All right, once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and jump back to substance. So the area you do that or the place you do that is in edit project configuration and you want to select your new file. So I go to file, select, and you can see that I have my character main low new. Hit open and everything else is fine. And preserve stroke positions on mesh, especially if you have the same UVs. If not, that won't matter so much, but go ahead and hit OK. So now let's take a look at what happens. Boom, our mesh is updated, nothing else has changed, and Substance is going through the process of updating it. Great, okay. So now everything has carried over. Now we need to rebake our mesh maps, especially since the glove geo has changed. So I go back to texture set settings, bake mesh maps, and I want to remove any high definition, definition meshes that were in here. And I will go ahead and add character main high new. And I will remove the one that was in there previously just to make sure that it's not the new one. Perfect. I keep the new one in there. And assuming you kept all the naming the same, you do match by mesh name, underscore low, underscore high. Double check your selections, make sure all of them are good to go. And then, well, really, all I need is the boots in this case, because nothing else changed. Then bake selected mesh and let it run. And there we go. Look at that. Updated the mesh, all of our texture details and layers and everything is carried over and everything looks as good as new. And we didn't lose any work. It only took a few minutes just to update the mesh. So hopefully this will, you found this helpful. Um, appreciate a like that would always help so uh, in that case I'll keep this short and see you guys later bye